Hello, beautiful human. Welcome to another episode of the Returning Home podcast with Lin Lim. And in today's episode, we're going to be diving deep into the topic of reincarnation. We'll be exploring concepts such as past lives, soul contracts, and your soul mission, and how this all comes to be. You probably already know this, but there is so much more to life than that we can see. There's actually an infinite amount of knowledge and embodiment and wisdom that comes with remembering who you are, going through a spiritual awakening, remembering your past lives, knowing that past lives are there. And so my intention for this episode is to plant a seed in your consciousness so that you start opening up to these concepts again and you start tapping into that remembrance within yourself. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So when we talk about reincarnation, what we immediately assume is that we live multiple lives and for me that's not just an assumption it's a knowing it's an inner knowing you didn't have just 10 lives you didn't just have 100 lives you had thousands of lifetimes on and off our planet and so the concept of reincarnation basically describes that we as an infinite soul reincarnate into bodies vessels in which we experience different lifetimes now when you've listened to my previous episode about a double slit experiment and parallel universes you know that parallel realities can exist. Which also means that just because we live in a three-dimensional reality and thus we experience everything as linear, doesn't mean that we are not actually living in different timelines, in different dimensions at the same time. So when you look at incarnations from higher dimensions, what we come to know is that actually past, present, and future happen simultaneously. It all happens at the same time. So this brings me to past lives and future lives. Because past lives aren't really past lives. And future lives are also not really future lives. It is all happening in the eternal now. And that's why we can do past life regressions and tap into those past lifetimes in this moment. And we can also tap into future timelines future realities and lifetimes in this moment so within this eternal now every single thing every single lifetime is accessible to us that's why the power of now presence is such a key thing within spirituality if you are grounded If you are present in this moment, you are centralizing your power where you can create in this moment consciously and you can also tap into all these different parts of yourself. So within meditation, you can tap into different parts of yourself that you cannot experience when your mind is drifting or not present. 
So that was a lot already. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, we're going to be talking about a lot more in this episode. And it's going to be so interesting. Because knowing what happened in your past lifetimes can really help you to understand things as karma. And karma, if you want to explain it in current modern language, you can explain it as the law of cause and effect. Meaning that when you take an action, you cause a certain vibration to go out in the universe. And what karma does is it always comes back. So this can be positive and negative. It is vibrational reverberation. It's a vibration that comes back to you like a boomerang. So when you have negative karma in a past life, chances are that you have to play out that karma within this life. So you take karma with you. You can see it as a credit score right? <laughs> it's like when you do something positive for the people and the planet and animals around you, your credit score is going to be up, 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 is going up. And when you do something negative to someone or animals or nature, you will downgrade your credit score. Now, karma is not good or bad, it just is. And I want to remind you that everything within the universe is vibrational. It's all energy, it's all frequency. And Nikola Tesla, I feel like I keep requoting him <laughs> in these episodes, but Nikola Tesla said, when you think of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Meaning that if you understand those things, if you understand energy, then you understand the universe. And so everything is vibrational. So when we choose to incarnate in a certain lifetime, it's not just incarnating into a life that we wish to live. I mean, think about it. There are many people around the world who were living in the most horrifying circumstances. Maybe you've had had some really crazy traumatic things happen to you and you think to yourself, why does this happen? Right? I couldn't I couldn't choose this. Who could choose something like this? Who would choose to get sick? Who would choose to live in war? Who would choose to go through abuse and terrible experiences? And so a lot of people, including myself, have always said, you choose your own experiences. But there's more to that than just... I would like to experience something like this. It is also a vibrational thing. And not is it only also a vibrational thing, it is completely a vibrational thing. Through living past lifetimes, you have left an energetic print within yourself. Think about it like this, everything that you do, everything that you think, Everything that you speak is recorded within your soul. Some people refer to it as the Akashic Records. Everything is recorded vibrationally. And so with that vibration, when we exit a certain lifetime, that's what we take with us. So you take with you your karma you take with you every single experience, every vibrational footprint within your soul. And 
you can choose your life based around that vibrational footprint. So when you, when people say you choose your life, it's based around your vibrational footprint. Karma that needs to be completed and play out. It is certain lessons that you have to learn to raise your frequency. It is certain things that you're meant to give and that is your sole mission. There is something when you come to planet Earth that you came to do. I often call this your purpose. And so nothing in our lives is a coincidence. Nothing within our lives is is just happening randomly. And so yeah, what you can say is that Everything is pre-written. You're destined for certain things. And I probably should do a whole new episode about this because there goes so much into creating and free will and, you know, but all I can say about creating your life, it's not just, yes, you are destined for things, but it doesn't mean that you're going to fulfill that destiny. Yes, things are predetermined, but it doesn't mean that they're always going to happen because we are born with free will. We have the freedom to choose. And now what makes this tricky is that when we come to planet Earth, and maybe you're listening to this and you're like, this is the first time I hear about these concepts. And my question to you is that If you're hearing these concepts for the first time, allow yourself to have an open mind and to think about, you know, it could be possible. I'm not saying that you have to agree with this. I'm just saying that if there is a part of you that says there is a possibility that this is true, I find it hard to accept right now. But I feel that there is a possibility to be true. Listen to that and allow your mind to be open and listen to what I'm sharing with you. So what I was saying earlier, the tricky thing when you come to planet Earth is that we are going through the veil of forgetfulness, which literally is a layer, a filter that we're looking through that causes us to forget where we came from, who we truly are, what we already know deep down in our soul. Because imagine your soul that has lived for thousands of lifetimes, lifetime after lifetime. Imagine the amount of wisdom and experience it has. And it's kind of strange to think about that you come to planet Earth and you know all these things, but you just forget them. And I want you to know that this wisdom is accessible within you. That's why I encourage you to meditate and to spend time with what is happening within you and ask yourself questions, ask your higher self questions. You'll be surprised what kind of answers come through that you couldn't have consciously thought of. When that happens, you know, There is something, some consciousness, some awareness that knows more than that I do with my conscious mind. Because the conscious mind is just 5% of our conscious, you know, of all the things that we know. So 95% is subconscious. And that's why within past life regressions, People can always tap into those things. And not only within past life regressions, within meditation, within every single moment of your day, you can ask your subconscious, you can ask your higher self. So that's one thing that I wanted to mention. And that is a tricky thing about coming to earth. We forget, we simply forget. And this also means that we forgot what we came here to do. We forgot what kind of contracts we were contracted, what experiences we contracted to experience. And now it doesn't really matter 
that you don't know. But what does matter is, do you listen to your intuition? Because your intuition is always guiding you. Your intuition is always guiding you to the things that you should be doing, the things, the directions that you should be moving into, things to look out for. Your intuition is always sending you messages. Some people refer to it as your gut feeling or your God feeling. It is your higher self communicating with you or whatever resonates with you, the universe, God, the zero point field, the quantum field, <laughs> that is communicating with you what you need to know in this moment. The truth is, is that we don't know our how our entire life will go. Because we have free will, there is freedom for play. You know, you are the creator. It's not that you don't create your reality, but you co-create it with your higher self. You co-create it with the universe. You co-create it within all the possibilities that you've set out before you came here. And the reason why fulfilling your soul purpose is so important is because if you don't want to repeat and i'm not saying this to to create any fear within you i'm absolutely not saying this because of that but if you want not to come back to this dimension to planet earth it must mean that you have to graduate from this dimension now how do you graduate you graduate when you done everything that you came here to do and to learn because some of those things maybe not everything but a big part of it because some of those things cannot be played out in different realities it is very earth specific and so knowing your soul purpose knowing your mission can help you to get further ahead on that path and, you know, I have a little bit, I feel a little bit conflicted about me sharing this with you because part of me is like, well, if I share this, then maybe some people will feel like, maybe some of you will feel like, shit, you know, I don't know what it is. And you feel anxiety around that and you feel like, I don't want to come back here. <laughs> and, you know, it's not that if you don't know your sole purpose doesn't mean that you're not fulfilling it because imagine this the universe is always guiding right your intuition is always guiding so everything that happens in your life happens for a reason so the easiest way of how to know whether you're doing what you're supposed to do here is number one learn the lessons when you're in a situation right now that is challenging, ask yourself, what is the lesson in this? Most probably when you've learned that lesson and that lesson is happening for a reason because you're supposed to learn something, then you are doing what you're supposed to do. And also you are growing spiritually, which, which means that you're getting closer to the actual path that you should be walking. Now, walking your path doesn't always mean that you feel graceful and that you feel blissful. Walking your path also includes the challenges. It includes everything about your life. It includes the ups and the downs. Because walking your path means that you're growing, you're evolving, you're not stagnating in life. And so if you want to learn more about reincarnation and what happens after we die i actually created a video that goes super deep into this on my youtube channel so if you're listening on spotify or on apple podcast then i recommend you hopping over to my youtube channel which is called unpurposed by lynn you can find it in the description below 
and look for the video within the playlist consciousness law of attraction spirituality look for the video what happens after we die because there's quite literally so much more to this but i feel like if i start talking about this right now i'm just going to over flood you with overwhelm you with information And I think that that was it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in, for keeping an open mind, for expanding your mind. Thank you so much for giving this episode a five-star review. If you liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to review this podcast because it will help me and the world to help to get this message to all the people who need to hear it right now i feel like we live in crucial times and this kind of information needs to be spread in order for people to awaken and to expand and if you're listening on youtube be sure to like this video comment below where you guys are tuning in from because i love to get to know you and share this video with anyone who you think could benefit from this message right now I am super excited to be sharing this journey with you all to awaken and expand and open our minds to crazy concepts like this. Um, If you'd like me to create more content like this in the future, let me know below what you guys love to hear me talk about because there is so much I could be exploring. There is the law of attraction, there is habits and creating your dream life, there is spirituality consciousness different dimensions aliens extraterrestrial life there's so much there's literally so much to be covered so let me know what you guys are interested in learning and hearing about and um yeah i think that that was it for today again thank you so much for being here keep growing keep shining and keep being your beautiful self sending you all so much love and I'm looking forward to see you in the next one. (laughs) Bye for now.